Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're continuing on with our team of the season. We're going to go through all the players and then get to the striker that we have to go through. So we've Alamanis in goal at right back, Ronan Finn, Lee Grace, Pico Lopez in centre back, Andrew Breslin at left back, midfield, Chris Shields, Aaron McAniff and Jack Byrne. On the left wing, Danny Grant on the right wing, Chris Twardek. So now we need someone who's going to bang in the goals with the absolute quality around the team there to provide the striker with the goals. So, Gary, honourable mentions, and then your pick. Right, so I, I, I'll go with my honourable mentions first, and then I'll go with my... Because I've actually changed my mind a couple of times on this already. The honourable mentions I had was Ronan Cochran of Sligo. Uh, uh, I thought he's a quality striker, very strong player, very physical, holds up the ball well and uh, and scored six goals as well. And as an honourable mention, I had Aaron Green of Shamrock Rovers who chipped in with seven goals. Obviously, they won the league, um, but just didn't quite make uh, my team. So then I come to the three names I have I've struggled with. I'll start with Andre Wright of Bowes, who was very, very close and, as I said, was one of the three that I had in my team. Uh, young player, chipped in with eight goals, uh, had a superb had a superb season. And, I mean, we've already talked about the, the – we've already got the two Bowes wingers in the team. And uh, maybe Rovers fans will argue Bowes scored 23 league goals and Shamrock Rovers scored 44. But having said that, Andre Wright was very close for me. Uh, the next one that was very close is a striker who didn't score in the SSC the Electricity League this season, as far as I know. Uh, and that's David McMillan of Dundalk. He didn't score a league goal. He got eight in the FAI Cup, including a hat-trick in the final, and chipped in with three in Europe. And he had to come in into the reckoning for me. And uh, he did. But ultimately, I've gone for Pat Huben. Uh Ten league goals, leading scorer again, one in Europe as well. The 13 league games and two off the bench. Maybe not. I know he got injured at the end of the season, but... Maybe not the standout season and uh, that he has had in previous years. And as I said, it's a position I've struggled with. But in the end, in the end, I'm going with Pat Huben as my striker in the team of the season. OK, so there's a few for thought for you there, Jer. So if there's anyone you may have missed or, or anything like that, feel free to, to give them a mention and then kind of go through. If, this is, if you feel anyone deserves at least a, a mention, go, go for it. Yeah, pretty much have the same names here as Gary. Uh, he touched on Graham Burke on one of the winger positions, but I would kind of mainly class him as kind of if a striker, if you're going to put him anywhere in the team, eight goals this season, two assists, scored in Europe as well, and scored that goal that started the comeback against Finn Harps in the Cup quarter final. 14 appearances in the league this season. I think he had a, a very, very good season. Roland Coughlin as well from Sligo. I think just shows you how good of a season Sligo have, why they haven't had anyone in the team of the year, they've had a lot of honourable mentions just on the lines the strength of their season. Six goals and four assists this season. I think he played in every league match for them. And uh, then the main two it comes down to for me is Andre Wright and Pat uh, Huben. Wright, eight goals and four assists. He was the third top scorer in the league after Jack Byrne and Huben. 17 appearances in the league. He also scored in that cup game against Dundalk a few weeks ago, be it was a penalty. Very, very exciting Promising player to watch. I think it's his second season in the league. Between him, Grant, Twardek, then obviously became Amish Air. They were probably the most exciting trio, our front three to watch, I felt, this season in the, the league. But, um, yeah, I'm going with Gary as well here uh, with Pat Huben. At the end of the day, the striker, your strikers, what you look towards them is to put the ball in the back net. That is their main role. I know there is other roles as well, but he got 10, so he is the top scorer in the league. He also scored in Europe as well against Rapid Vienna. He did miss quite a lot of games towards the end of the season as well, uh, through into which kind of makes, uh, well, I suppose the Athlone game was was pretty easy, but he missed that game against Bowles in the Cup, and you would have felt he was a big loss for him, and he still coped out with him, of course, as Gary touched on that man, Dave McMillan, got a couple of goals as well that night. But, um, yeah, I'm going with, with Pat Hoban, and he just edges on right right for me, just purely because he is the top goal scorer in the league, and I don't think you can ignore that. Fair enough. Paul Tierney, same... Uh... I suppose, route as, as Jared there. Um, what would be your kind of honourable mentions and who would be your striker then, lastly? Right, well, the honourable mentions, I have three. Uh, I'd agree with the lads on them. Uh, Aaron Green had a great season for Rovers 
and uh, he was part of the league winning side, so he has to be included. Um, Andre Wright as well. I seen him a couple of times. Big, strong striker, and uh, helped uh, the lads on the wing, Grant and Twardek, uh, fantastically. Uh, big, strong striker. Got seven goals as well. Very good. Uh, unfortunate to miss out. Uh, you have to include Graham Burke in some way, even though none was really know what position he actually plays in. He's um, he's definitely included in there, but. Uh, He's unlucky to miss out. He would have been in my team at the start, but I had to take him out in the end. But I have to go and agree with the lads again, Pat, Pat Hooven. He's top scorer in the league. Uh, and you just keep thinking about that at long game. If he had been playing, how many goals he would have got that night? You know, so uh, And he probably would have got a few more goals in the league as well in the, in the run-in and in Europe as well. So, Pat Hooven for me. Yeah, I think it's just kind of hard to look past him. But as players you mentioned there, I do think Aaron Green deserves a huge... Shout out being the man who's led the line for over as he's been a key part of kind of their rise. You know, I know they had Jack Byrne and we speak about the midfielders and stuff like that, but Aaron Green has been very, very good for Rovers and he's popped up with a lot of crucial goals. I mentioned there the, the winner against Bowes and he's popped up with, with goals as well. I knew he scored in the cup final there the other night that would have given them the lead in the cup final as well. So he's often popped up with goals. I know he doesn't score many, but when he does score them, they tend to be important. And he's just a huge presence, I think, in that Rovers team. I, I think he probably doesn't get enough. He probably doesn't get enough um, credit for for the role he does because a lot of the time he is. I know against better teams, he's been fairly isolated. But what he does is he gets the ball, he brings it in, and he allows the the wing backs to then get forward as well as the midfielders as well. So when he's taking it in, he holds up for those couple of seconds to let the players get up. And I do think he's such a, a huge, crucial part of that team. Now, we'll be interested to see wh- whether they'll try and bring in someone as well. And I do think the young lad Williams as well, kind of towards the second half of the season as well, for Rovers, he came in and helped them get over the line in games when sometimes they had to take off green. They brought on Williams. I remember the Derry game in particular, they did that. And he really changed the game because he just had the pace and stuff to get in behind. Ronan Cockton played every single game for Sligo, six goals couple of them are penalties I know but he has to be there to step up to take them I really think he's a really underrated player I think um, I know Sligo will, will most likely hang on to him but I think I know he got that move to Cork a few years ago it didn't really work out under Joel Caulfield but I do think he's someone that could be playing for a top level team like a Dodok or something like that in the next couple of seasons if he keeps going the way he's going I mean he's always in the argument and he's always a, a kind of dangerous player to have there David McMillan, of course, you have to have him in the argument. He wouldn't be the the top pick for me. Just ultimately, he didn't play the full season, you know. But the way he finished the season was unbelievable. He won the cup final against Rovers. Have been the best team in the league by far this year, and he came out. Or sorry, he in the extra time <laughs> scored that goal as well, and the goals that he scored throughout the cup final. You get the hat trick in the cup final. You know, when you need someone to step up, he tends to be there. In Europe as well, he's done well in the Cup game as well. I know Jair uh, had spoken to him after the Bowls game in the Cup as well. He's done really well in that game as well. So, you know, he's got absolute class. Andre Wright as well. You know, I spoke about Aaron Green and how pivotal he is to the Rovers attack. Andre Wright as well for, for Bowles as well. I think what he offers them and the wingers around him. But, you know, in terms of getting players in, I know Rovers play a different system. So when the ball comes up to Green, Sometimes you will have Graham Burke just playing out, but Paul, you you mentioned as well. We don't know exactly where Graham Burke plays. It's a bit of a strange one because, well, like he's brilliant, and you, I would like to try and fit Graham Burke into this team, but I just can't in terms of the formation that we've gone with and that system. I don't think he could fit him in there unless he play him as maybe an attacking midfielder or something like that. But he tends to play like a second striker almost. He's not necessarily up the full half of the pitch, but I wouldn't say he probably drops into the opposition's half unless he really has to. So I would say he's a very attacking-minded player, but it's a matter of trying to get him into the team. I don't think he can. I think Pat Huben wins this. I mean, he just he just scores goals, doesn't he? 15 appearances, 10 goals. He, he definitely would have finished on more, you know, had he not got injured. Um, I think next season... He'll probably be top scorer again. I just think he suits Dundalk. And I, did, I think they're actually blessed in a way we haven't. Macmillan and Huben is that Macmillan will give them something different. They ultimately let 
Georgie Kelly go because Macmillan came in to, to Pats on loan who's someone who went a little bit under the radar as well he's someone who went to Pats and you probably would have thought he would have done a little bit better scored a couple of goals here and there again he'll be with someone that we'll be looking for will Dundalk keep a hold of him because I know he's only on loan at Pats someone might come in and try and look to sign him again I think he, he'll be a key part what will happen with Macmillan is he going to stay? Is he out of contract? Because a lot of players have done docker out of contract now. I don't think Huben is, but I think a couple of lads I mentioned there are. So, you will be interested to see. But of the strikers, there's not that many that kind of get uh, get in the mention for the top level. But I do think Patrick, Pat Huben is my player that I'm going to go with as well. But I think Aaron Green can feel hard done by considering the season he had. And I do think Andrew Wright probably as well finished in second too. So, yeah, I just think Huben... He's been the best striker for the last three years in a row, and he doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. So that's been the team of the season. Anyway, you can let us know. No doubt, people are not going to be happy, and they want their player picked in. So let us know who you'd have in the comments, and um, if we for, if we left anybody out, let us know as well. You might say yeah, Figueroa at Derry as well might have been a player, but you're talking about. I don't think anyone else gets into the top three. You know, other than the players that we mentioned. So I think that's fair enough. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. And as always, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.